Hey guys, let's check out cinematic frozen strings. That's part of the Spitfire regionals. And what we have here is a more icy kind of experimental sound. And they recorded eight different players. We have four violins. We have two cellos, two basses, no violas. The user interface is pretty simple. And so I'm going to give you a lot of sound demos, but then I think what we'll do is also experiment with some other plugins and get creative. So let's get started. Right, so let's go through the user interface real quick and do more and more sounds. So first of all, on the top here, we have two uh, sliders. The first one, this is the expression and the right one is the dynamics and you can get some hints on the bottom here exactly what they do. So once you hover on top of this, you'll see expression, adjust the level of the technique and the dynamics for long techniques, this will increase or decrease the dynamics of the uh, playing. So very simple stuff. And then we have this big knob here. And if you click in the middle, you'll see that you have choices. We have reverb, release and tightness. And you can see those on the bottom as well. So we have the reverb here. And we have the release. So the tightness will cut further into the note, will make it tighter, and we'll experiment with that further. So let's see what else we have. And one of the cool things about this library is the different signals that we have, the different sounds that were recorded. We have three channels. We have close, and that will be a valve spot mic summed together. And then we have the Deca 3 array and that will give us a more spacious and kind of roomy sound and then we have the super close which is a clip on mics that were attached to the instruments themselves so let's have a go with that and see what kind of sounds we get in each so first let's try the super close <laughs> Now let's see the Deca tree. Right, and finally the close. And of course we can blend between them. Right, so now let's go through the different presets, the different recordings that we have here and appreciate the sounds.
So I think we covered all of the sounds and if you have any questions or anything, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to show you more stuff. But I think what we'll do now is do a little bit of fun experiment with some uh, plugins that we can throw on this and get something completely different or enhance what we have already. So I'm going to use UGEM finisher plugins which i already covered in my channel so you're welcome to check them out and let's start with something simple i'm going to get the finisher flux here and this is how it looks like so this is the finisher flux and let's just hear how it sounds out of the box <laughs> This is with and without. Let's try something else. So the finisher series by UGEM is really fun stuff because they have a lot of stuff under the hood which we don't have any control but what we do have is the four variation knobs and a big one in the middle which is most of the time that's a dry wet and then you have different modes so let me show you how that works when we go here in this uh, title here you'll see that we have chords arpeggios rhythmic and solo each one is a different mode and let's go for arpeggios this one and then you'll see that we have different assignments to these variation knobs <laughs> And we get a little bit of uh, explanation in the notes here. Turns even the most boring arpeggio into animated beauty. So, yeah, pretty nice. Let's try something else. Let's go with a solo and just the first one. And this one is complex rotary array. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Try another one. And let's try some of the presets. Let's see what we have in the arpeggio. Pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. 
Let's try finisher Neo. That's a fun one as well. And again, the idea here is that we have different modes and we have spread, we have crush, we have swirl, shape, and boost. Let's go with the uh, swirl and big vibrato. That's an interesting one. And we have hyper rotary. Let's try another finisher. This is Dynamo, the latest member of the finisher series. So again, what we have here is different modes, and this one is really about rhythmic and patterns. So you can see that we have the pattern here. It goes from a uh, half time to poly, normal, standard, and then we have triple and double time. And we also have a filter here, and we have delay. <laughs> And the tone is a tilt EQ, mostly. And let's see what we have here in the different presets. Let's go with pads. Right, let's try another one. This is Finisher Retro. Let's uh, hear how it sounds. It's mostly for guitars, I think, but we can use it uh, pretty much on anything. And again, we have the different modes. We'll click this and you'll see that we have 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90 sounds. Let's try this reverb here. And let's try the finisher Voodoo.
And last, let's try the Supermassive by Valhalla DSP. Before we get to that, if you like the video so far, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments if you still have any questions or anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.